here today shooting this uh, Colt competition rifle. Uh, Bold Ideas makes these rifles for Colt. They're kind of like uh, Bold Ideas. Are, they're in Texas, and they uh, assemble all the Colt uh, competition rifles. Uh, they're high-end uh, max-grade guns that they use for sporting purposes, whatever. They go through Bold Ideas. Bold Ideas is, to, they're kind of like the custom shop, which Colt Custom Shop has for their revolvers. Bold Ideas is, is what they do for rifles. Anyway, they make these, got lots of Colt parts on them, and uh, we'll go over a few things here. It's got a Colt six-position buckstock on it, Colt grip. Uh, of course, your upper and lower receiver, they're all Colt. The, uh, uh, it's got a round, free-floating handguard on it, which I really like, aluminum handguard. It used the Bold Ideas uh, steel uh, free-floating gas block. It's got a Colt uh, 5.56 caliber, 1 and 8 twist chrome molly barrel on here. It's got a uh, standard uh, closed bottom flash suppressor on it. It's got a section of rail here on top. Now this thing, this handguard's drilled all the way around for more sections of rail. You can buy as many sections of rail as you want to bolt on there. They have these three inch ones. They have 12 inch ones. You can put it on top and have full length. Put it on the bottom or on the sides, wherever you want to on there. But of course it's got a flat top receiver on it. it does not have a forward assist on it, which that's something I never use anyway. If I've got a cartridge they don't want to go in the chamber, I want it out of there. Last thing I want to do is force it in the chamber if it don't want to go. It does have the case deflector on it. Uh, the uh, It's got a Colt match trigger on it, which this trigger, they spec it at six pounds. This one come in at uh, barely over five and three quarter pounds. It's a nice crisp trigger. It's not a real lightweight trigger, but it is a real good crisp trigger on here. Uh, it has a standard charging handle. Optional, you can get a tack latch on your charging handle. Um, this rifle shoots really well, and I was surprised the first group out of this rifle was way under an inch. And usually it takes a few shots to get a, a gun shooting good. This using striker uh, 55 grain ammo was right at 5 sixteenths of an inch. It would shoot and it would repeat that. Uh, buffalo bore was under an inch, under a half inch on some buffalo bore and uh, Black Hills ammunition 69 grain max loads. The rifle really shoots them well. They spec this barrel to shoot anything from 50 grains to 77 grains, and it'll do it. What I've found, it shoots, uh, shoots it all really well. Uh, function, of course, been 100%. It's a Colt. That's what I expect out of it. And uh, a couple of more features I want to show you here on this. I put on uh, using this worn mount on here. And what I really like about this worn mount, it's got a one-piece base and your two top rings. Real heavy-duty stuff. And uh, it's got these uh, sections on the side where you can mount auxiliary sights, which is real uh, particularly good for three-gun matches and things where a lot of three-gun shooters, they want some sights on the side where they can use their scope for long range and just slightly tilt the rifle and look at the sights on the side. It has a matching front block here to do the same thing. You can turn this either way for right-handed or left-hand use. Anyway, in here I've got mounted a uh, loophole VXR. It's also branded for Colt Competition. Colt Competition sells these scopes. So uh, this is a uh, 4 to 12 power. It's uh, what I use for my group shooting. It has the uh, lighted reticle inside it where you just push this button, turns your reticle on, push the button, turns it off. Gives you a, a red dot right inside your reticle. Starts to get dark or whatever. It's a real good scope. Matches up well with this rifle. Both the scope and rifle are from Colt Competition. And uh, we're just going to shoot a little bit, demonstrate how it runs. I'm shooting this off a uh, Target Shooting Incorporated Model 500 rifle rest. I really like this rifle rest for shooting ARs because of the way they lay in there and all. Anyway, just this is what I've been doing my group shooting off of. Shooting off the bench, I always like to use these 20 round uh, Vietnam era Colt mags. I've got a few of them that I keep just for this. This uh, gun comes with a 30 round P mag. Here it lays, comes with one of these for the legal to do so. It's got a 30 round P mag uh, shipped with the rifle, comes with one mag. But like I said, off the bench, I like these shorter mags. Let me put it in my brass kick. Hate to waste any brass.
you know, all the features that make this a good uh, a competition or sporting rifle uh, really make it a good fighting rifle also. It's got a 16 inch barrel on it. Uh, it's got the uh, closed bottom uh, bird cage flash suppressor on it. Anyway, it works really well. Uh, the things that make it run well, shooting targets, makes it also work good. Uh, shooting things a little more serious makes it good for social work. Anyway, it handles well. With a six position buckstock, you can make it really short. Handle it uh, in close quarters if you need to. But it's a really nice rifle uh, for cold competition.